have decided to extend the IUI camp for the month of June as well. Patients have been extremely happy and we have been able to give them good success rates due to which we have decided to increase the time for this IUI camp. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvashla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today, let's try to understand the association between vitamin D and infertility and whether supplementation with vitamin D will really increase your chances of success with the pregnancy. Now, vitamin D is an oil soluble vitamin and it has a number of functions in the body. Its main function is to absorb calcium and phosphorus in the uh, intestines um, and uh, there are numerous levels at which it helps in the proper functioning of the body. It has two sources of uh, intake in the body. Uh, we can see that uh, there are two main sources how the vitamin D can be absorbed into the body. So uh, the first is from sun. Sun rays directly produce vitamin D. Of course the dosage and the time and all that is required. It is quite a long process by which vitamin D is absorbed. And the second is oral consumption. So in your diet, if you have included sardines and salmons and liver and eggs, it is a good source of vitamin D. But remember that only 20% of vitamin D supplementation comes from your diet, from your food. Therefore, if you are vitamin D deficient, either you have to increase your exposure to sunlight or you have to increase your supplementation of vitamin D so that your body can uh, you know, then make up the proper uh, vitamin D that is required. How do we know uh, if you are deficient? Well, the easiest way to find out if you are deficient or not is to do a blood test. Doctors can very easily, by the levels of vitamin D, make out if you are deficient or if you, the vitamin D content in your body is normal. There is a heavy um, connection between vitamin D levels and infertility, especially in patients that have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, or that have fibroids. So there is an association and associated with these two disorders, either PCOS or fibroids is infertility mainly because vitamin D in its active form is called calcitrol. Now calcitrol controls the genes which are responsible for the production of estrogen and estrogen as we all know is a very important hormone in not only producing the eggs but controlling how they are grown, how other hormones also behave. Estrogen is a very critical reproductive hormone. So calcitrol has a very good role in increasing the uh, production of estrogen. Not just this, this calcitrol is also produced by the uterine lining. Uterine lining is where the embryo implants. As the embryo travels into the uterus, uterus releases this. This lining releases calcitrol which is very important for implantation. Once it implants and the implantation is healthy, the uterus and the placenta then take over the production of vitamin D and ensure that the implantation, uh, the pregnancy is carried forward. So vitamin D also plays an important uh, role at this level. What do studies say? Well, there are numerous studies, but I will uh, try to explain two of them. A very important uh, Danish study uh, showed that uh, in the years that the uh, vitamin D supplementation was essential for the entire population and after a little more than a couple of years, when this vitamin D supplementation was uh, removed, there was a very good data that they had. Uh, in addition to all the stratas of society, age and you know those trying for pregnancy and everything else, they could isolate the, the population that was trying for pregnancy and the vitamin D levels were low. Associated with low vitamin D levels, where the success rate in the coming uh, in the near future so the lower the levels of vitamin d the higher the chance of not getting pregnant and the the better the uh, vitamin d levels the higher the chance of success this was what they saw in women that they studied who had taken vitamin d levels and which had been given for a longer duration the chance of success was long uh, was better in in women of fertility age that had taken vitamin d supplementation also associated with vitamin d is another beautiful study in which uh, women that had taken vitamin d supplementation and undergone ivf showed better uh, implantation rate and better success rate better uh, uh, live birth rate than women who did not take vitamin d supplementation and went for ivf so this is a beautiful uh, way to see how vitamin d plays an important role in uh, enhancing your success rate and pregnancy rate therefore if you have any other queries if your vitamin d levels are low if your doctor has prescribed uh, vitamin d kindly take it if you want to understand more about it please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you